so this is a hairstyle that I like to do on like rainy days because it's already raining out. Why bother straightening, blow drying your hair when it's just going to get ruined anyways as soon as you step outside. I also like to do this a lot in like the hotter months um, just because it's quick. I want to get outside. I don't want to waste my time getting ready and it ends up looking really cute. So I've already showered. My hair's wet. If your hair's not wet already, you can just spray it with a squirt bottle, put your head under the sink. Um, anything to get it wet. I have not brushed it because I find that it looks better and works better when I don't brush it first. And so, I'm going to be looking over here a lot because my mirror is right here. So I'm not trying to be rude by not looking at you guys. Um, I just need to see what I'm doing. So I'm going to take a comb with a rat tail like this to separate off where I want my part to be. Um, it can be as far or as not far over as you want it to be and as thick or as thin as you want it to be. Um, just make a line like that. Kind of in the direction towards your ear. And it does not have to be perfect, so don't worry if there's like a straight line here. It actually looks better the more imperfect that it is. Um, this is about an inch and a half to two inches thick line. And I'm going to take a little more just because I want this to twist into the braid. And the rest of the hair, just so that it's not in your way, I'm just going to throw back. And now you can start with this. You can spray some hairspray on it before you do it just to give it that extra hold if you want to. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And then you're going to section it off. I don't use the comb for this anymore, I just use my fingers. I'm going to section it off with this first section with my pinky, just because my pinky is the smallest finger and it's easiest to do. And I'm going to start and depending on where you want your twist to be, if you want it right in the front of your hair, you're going to bring it to the front and twist it. If you want it more back here, you'll bring it to the back. If you want it in the middle, keep it in the middle. I'm going to keep mine in the middle today. And you just twist it like that. And then you take your next section, and I'm taking about maybe half inch sections on the way down here. And you're going to bring it, and I just kind of put it in front and twist it into what you've already twisted. And then keep going all the way down. Remember to keep your hair going towards the direction that you're going. So instead of keep going like down the side of my head, I'm moving towards the back now because it's going to be going in that direction. Now I'm going to kind of pull this and loosen it up a bit because I don't want it that, that tight. And see how you can see the sections separating? I like that look. So now I'm going to braid the rest of my hair, so I'm going to just hold this in my mouth while I do that. Actually, that's what I normally do, but because I need to talk to you guys, I'm not going to do that. Um, I'll just take this little clippy and clip it in place right here. Now I'm going to take down the rest of my hair that I put back to get out of the way. And it actually does look nice when it's down like this too if you want to keep it clipped. Um, but I'm not going to do that today. Um, I'm just going to bring my hair around in the direction that I want it. I braid on the same side that I have this going in. You can do it on the opposite. It really doesn't matter. Just whatever look you like better. And I'm going to separate it into three pieces to do just a regular braid. I found that the back piece being the thickest is works best for me because I have a lot of layers in my hair so to have that hair in the back to kind of be the foundation really holds it in place better and I'm going to start braiding right at the base. I'm going to unclip this part now that I would be holding in my mouth I'll add it just to this um, front section right here just because it's the closest piece. Now we can start our braid. I start braiding right at the base of my ear just because it keeps that piece in place and my braid doesn't end up being very long because I have a lot a lot of layers but this can work for any length of hair um, any style see how a lot of pieces fall out for so me you braid as far as you can or as far as you want to take an elastic like this that you can get at Walmart or any drugstore and just secure that off and 
The fact that this looks messy is the reason why I like it. I like messy hairstyles a lot. I think it gives an edge. So, what I'm going to do with all this, because I don't want it just hanging down here and it won't fit into my braid, is you can either twist some sections and put it back like that, or you can simply just pin it back as if it were in the braid, which is what I'm going to do. You take, you can use any kind of clip or bobby You can pin. also use, if you have those like flower clips, you can use that. That would look really pretty to print to pin here, it. Here, and bringing it around, placing it where it would enter the braid right here. I'm going to use the big bobby pin first to really secure it in place. And push it into the braid, and then I'm going to create an X with the smaller bobby pin so that it doesn't move. That one went on the bottom, and I'm going to put this one on the top. This piece of hair is still too short. I'll probably just end up putting it behind my ear because it looks fine like that. Um, if you're really a stickler and you want to pin it back, you can put more bobby pins. You can take a clip and just clip that in place however you want to do it. Finish off with a spritz of hairspray all over, even in the braid. I feel like that just kind of feel like makes me feels like it holds it in place better. Um, ooh, baby hairs. So here is the finished look. A little twisty into the braid. For rainy days when you don't feel like doing your hair or it's not worth it to do your hair or if you're in a rush in those summer months, um, this is just something quick, easy that you can do on the go and I hope you guys like it. Let me know if you have any other quick hairstyles that you like to see or that you do and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! <laughs>